I'm Utah County Attorney David Levitt, and candidate for Attorney General. And I'm Mike Levitt, the former governor of Utah, and Sunday is Father's Day, and we want to pay tribute to our father, Dixie Levitt. Dad was born in a small southern Nevada town named Bunkerville, about 200 people, a suburb of Mesquite, Nevada. He went to college in Cedar City, where we both grew up. He was on an athletic scholarship, and he met our mother, Ann, there, and they married. After college, he taught school for a while, and then he started a business that today, 65 years later, is still in operation. Well, Dad is 90 years old now, but he still keeps a full schedule. I had to laugh when uh, Mom sent her weekly letter to the family. There was a picture of Dad out pounding in campaign signs all over <laughs> southern Utah, where they still live. Actually, when I think back on the things that he taught us, uh, learning how to work would be right at the top of that list. Growing up, if we didn't have a job, he made sure that we had a list of things to do, and he would say, I want to make sure that my children know how to work. <laughs> I found myself using those exact words with my children. In fact, I'm confident that I gained a desire to do public service from my dad. Uh, he served in the legislature for many years, and years later, when I was governor, I would greet school children at the state capitol, and I would tell them about when I would be at the state capitol with my dad. I often think of the things that he says when we're facing something hard. His voice is still in my head on that. He, 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 I will never forget, as long as I live, him saying, well, we are where we are. In other words, it doesn't do any good to complain or fret about the situation we have. We just have to move forward. And I think what I learned most from him on that was you have to just be willing to face hard things and realize that you are where you are and you're not going to get anywhere different unless you change what you're doing. Well, we have a great dad. And dad, we love you. Happy Father's Day, not only from Mike and I, but from the rest of your uh, six sons and all of your six daughters-in-law and have a happy Father's Day. We hope you have a lot more of them.